The son of a Lake County woman killed in a fire just wants answers after first being told his mother's death was an accident. New details uncovered by News 5 investigator Scott Knoll are raising serious questions about that claim. It's a story you'll see only on 5. Hidden behind the door of this small Wycliffe apartment. Every day, I'm reminded in some way. The mystery that haunts Robert Wright. I don't believe that it was an accident. The reminders of what happened that October morning, seemingly everywhere. At the time, I lived across the street from the police and fire station. Um, so every time I would hear them dispatch, you know, it would just. It was like torture. It's why Robert Wright moved his family to rural Ashtabula County, away from those sirens, but never far from the memory of his mother, Wendy. She was a caring, um, just kind of person that would give you like the clothes off her back. Wendy Wright was just 54 years old when she died, burned over 96% of her body when her friend's Wycliffe apartment caught fire in October 2020. Robert remembers that knock on his door by police. He just said it's really bad um, and that she's not going to make it. But nothing could prepare him for what he found at the hospital. I could really only just see her chin up to her eyebrows and then a little bit of her ears. But I could tell why she was wrapped up and how bad it was. And I've never seen anything like it. He held her hand until she took her last breath. The person I dislike the most, I would never want them to even go through what I went through, let alone, you know, suffer in that way. Curious, Robert went to the apartment, took these photos of the damage, including the futon his mom was supposedly sleeping on when the fire started. And they were immediately just saying it was an accident to me. They didn't really tell me and there was anything further being investigated. So we kind of, you know, just kind of went from there. But recently filed court documents now question the claim this deadly fire was an accident. Wycliffe police say nearly a month after the fire, they learned the woman who rented the apartment and was inside with Wendy Wright when the fire began had a previous aggravated arson conviction. In 2007, police say she admitted setting fire to her Fairport Harbor apartment after being threatened with eviction. According to court records, week before the Wycliffe fire, the woman's landlord said she would not be renewing her lease. We shared what we found with Wright's son. Like there's a lot of stuff that, you know, I don't believe are just coincidences. And there's more. Police say when they questioned the woman about the 2020 fire, she admitted starting it by accidentally dropping a cigarette on the futon. But so far, no charges have been filed. That's why we've chosen not to name her. Regardless of if you meant to or not, you know, there's, there's some responsibility there. You know, and I think that she needs to take responsibility and something needs to be done. We wanted to know why it seems nothing's been done, but both Wycliffe Police and Lake County's prosecutor declined to talk to us, saying this case is ongoing. But Robert Wright says 16 months after his mom's death, he's determined not to let this case get swept under the rug. I worry that it's essentially just going to fade away. You know, nothing will come of it. Do you deserve answers? Yeah, I think our whole family deserves answers. We did reach out to the woman police say admitted starting that fire through an attorney. She declined to talk with us about what's inside these court records. Reporting live, I'm News 5 investigator Scott Knoll. Well, Scott, thank you very much for your reporting tonight. We know you will stay on it for us. Thank you so much.